hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to share how to how i organize my kids clothes in the dresser uh, using conmari method and uh, we're gonna do some quick decluttering before uh, i show you how to how i arrange the clothes in the dresser and also if you're interested i'm gonna show how i fold the clothes uh, if you want to watch that please make sure you watch till the end so let's see how it looks inside uh, this is the method. This is the system I follow. I use this uh, Dollar Tree foam board and I cut to the size to make it like a dividers, which separates their shirts and pants and pajamas. And uh, I use uh, the same system for both my kids. The top drawer is for my elder one, and the second drawer is for my younger one. the same it's the same here too the pants goes in one section the shirts and tops goes in one section and pajamas in the other section so i'm gonna take off the uh, clothes that doesn't fit them anymore so um quickly declutter some of the stuff that doesn't fit them and uh, uh, set it up again And this is the last drawer which has their underwears and socks and also I have one load of laundry which I need to fold and let's see let's get started so here I'm quickly going through all the uh, things that are in the dresser and taking off anything that doesn't fit them or uh, anything that we are not using in this season like uh, it's still cold here so we don't need shorts in our dresser right now so if there are any shorts or anything that doesn't fit them I'm going to take it off from the dresser and uh, I'm going to put anything that doesn't fit them in that laundry basket so I can take it down and uh, donate it so yeah I'm quickly going through all the stuff here and these are these pajamas uh, what we do is we use the old uh, t-shirts and pants as pajamas instead of buying new ones please let me know in the comments sections below that if you do the same And also I'm I'm gonna fix this uh, foam board uh, it is a bit wobbly so I'm gonna use some double-sided tape or uh, putty and fix it uh, put it at the bottom so we can uh, fix it with uh, so that it doesn't move and I'm doing the same thing with my younger ones uh, clothes going through and taking off uh, anything that doesn't fit them sorry about the lighting and it's going to be better uh, after a bit i just realized uh, the lighting was not good first So after the decluttering and clearing up the top of the dresser and uh, cleaning it up, let's see how it's how it looks now. I just quickly arranged all his shirts here and pants. So the big benefit of this system is uh, kids can be more independent and uh, they can grab uh, any pant and shirt they want to wear and uh, it's easy for them to be visually see everything they have and they can pick their own dress and for pajamas i just paired one shirt and one bottom so they can pick two together and also i fixed this foam board using double sided tape for the shirts it's a bit crowded for now i'm gonna take off like a thick uh, sweater like shirts uh, after a month because it's still some days are still a little cold so i just kept them for now 
and uh, here in my younger ones uh, drawer they, he has all his pans and i put the soft pans on the side so he knows where they are when we are at home he can just grab them from there and shirts and pajamas just like the elder ones drawer And for the bottom drawer, I just arranged his uh, their underwears and socks. I am not using folding or using any organizers here because it's working for us. I just keep all the socks here in pairs so they can grab two at a time, the same ones, and pick an underwear from there. It is working for us as of now, so I'm using the same system. And I just stored some, like uh, receiving, uh, I think those swaddle blankets, which we use for towels now in the middle. And they have this la laundry hamper next to it, so they, they know where to put their uh, clothes after taking it off. And to the other side of the dresser, I just uh, put two command hooks for them to hang their towels. All their Indian wear and shirts and everything are in the closet. We have a space in the closet, but uh, this system is working for us now as they can uh, reach it easily. Once my younger one grows a little big, I think I will move everything into the closet. As of now, this is the system we use. And for the folding, for the pants, this is how I used it. Uh, 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 I fold, just fold it in half and then fold it in three. And it fits perfectly in the dresser. For my um, elder one, his pants are getting longer. So if I use the same fold like I showed now, uh, it's getting a little bit tall, so you know, the, dra uh, the dresser drawer is not closing properly. So what I do is, this is how I was doing first, like the simple three-fold method. This, like this, so this is making it tall and the dresser is not uh, closing properly. So now I'm to make it little tall, uh, I fold it this way. I fold the bottom half and then like this and this fits perfectly and the height is not problem when I fold it this way and coming for tops uh, for the long sleeve shirt uh, I just lay them down the front side down and then fold it one side and put the hand down and do the same thing for the other side. That's it. Follow the same steps for t-shirt. Sometimes t-shirts are a little difficult for uh, them to stand all by itself without any support you can fold it even shorter if you wish but i want all my shirts to be of same height so i just fold the same way and when you put it in with the other shirts uh, there won't be any problem for them falling or this is how i fold So if you want it more stable, you can do like this too. And once you know how um, to fold, I, I usually just stand and fold. Uh, even without um, putting them on the flat surface once you get used to the folds and if you keep doing that and it, it will be so easy just to fold so quick it doesn't take more time than it, actu it actually takes 
I usually like to listen to some kind of audio book or podcast when I'm folding clothes just to make it not so boring. Eating for each phase of your cycle. Your body is the Silos, your cycle flows from one phase to the next, and each one influences the others. Eating the right foods in one phase. My camera died, so I had to film this in another day. So, for another tip, uh, what I do is I just like to fold the bulky things first, like towels, etc., which are the big items. So, after you fold the big things, your pile looks smaller and it will be easy for you to do the rest of the clothes. And if you don't wait for your um, hamper to be so full, you'll have less clothes to fold and it, it will be less overwhelming. So you will do it easily. I generally like to fold the clothes and arrange them and because after everything is arranged it looks so neat and organized which gives me a lot of you know I feel so good about it. I'll just arrange all the clothes in groups like all the t-shirts of my elder one one group and pants in one group, my younger one clothes in one group so it will be easy for me to put it back in the dresser. So as you can see I can just fold the t-shirts even without laying them flat. It will be so quick and every time I see the dresser which is cleanly organized it, it gives me so much pleasure. And that's it guys. I hope this video gives you some ideas and in, uh, and some inspiration to organize your home and your kids dresser. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.